folks, Nick Donatelli here and welcome back to the Houdini for MoGraph series. Today we'll be going over another growth setup, this time using the SOP Solver. It's a fun way to procedurally have something grow out of points and shows a cool way to use the solver. So let's just get into it. I'll start with a torus with a scale of 2.5. And then I'm going to increase the rows to 150 and the columns to 250 so that we have a lot of points to work with. Next, we want to actually choose where the grow points will be. Um, now you could do this however you want to direct the growth. Maybe you have a line and you carve it out so that it comes along a path. Maybe you have a character walking and you use the feet geo. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to use a scatter and uncheck relaxed iterations. And in the total count, I'm going to type sign parentheses dollar f times 30, close parentheses. Uh, this way we emit points only every few frames and then type dollar f into the seed so that the points are in a new random position each frame now give them a color of just red and give the torus a color of black and then do an attribute transfer from the tor on the torus and bring the distance threshold to zero and the blend width to 0.2 now you can see that these just kind of pop on for a frame and that's what we need for our, our base setup so just make a solver node and dive inside so we'll be building out growth in a point fob so in here we're going to hook the input one into the first and then the previous frame into the second input and hop inside so for this growth, we want to sample all the points near each other and then take the color from them. And then we want that to accumulate so that it spreads across the geo. So to do this, we'll use a, the point cloud of functions. So we'll make a point cloud open and hook the file into op input two. So that way we are looking at the previous frames color and also hook up the position. Next, make a PC filter node and attach the handles and type in CD in the channel to grab the average color. And what this filter is doing is basically it's looking at all the points and you can see in the here we specified to look at the 10 closest points, but you could increase that to smooth things out more if you need to. Um, so, but now make a maximum and wire this in there and then attach the current color to the maximum as well and wire that out to the cd so what we're saying here is take this frame's color and then an average of the previous frame's co color and return whichever value is greatest now if you hop out you can see what's happening the color pops on when the point shows up and then it slowly blurs out since it's taking the point uh, previous frame and just dilating it and this is cool, you could probably do some kind of rain splash effect, but we actually want them to accumulate and stay there as it goes. And because it's dilating, it's just slowly getting smaller and smaller. So to counteract this, we're going to make a multiply constant for the previous frames average and set it to 1.5. That way it's not constantly moving out. And since this is something that's going to return a value of more than one sometimes we just want to add a clamp and now hop all the way back out and reset the sim and hit play and you can see we have points with a continuous growth out of them and this is really the base setup it's from here you could just kind of go in and add more custom details so one thing in my example that i did after the sim is dropped a blast node set two points typing at cd equals zero then make a smooth node changing constraint boundaries to none and the filter quality to one and bring up the strength a bit also type at cd equals one in the pinpoints so that they don't move 
And then to roughen up the edges, I'm just going to make a point fob. And inside, just do an anti-aliased noise, setting it to 3D. Add that to the position and bind that out. And then do a vector to float on the CD. And do a fit from 0.1 or 0 0.8 to 1 and change it to 1 to 0 and then multiply the noise by this just to mess up the values and there you have it that's our SOP solver growth setup you can of course use this technique in a lot of different ways to add more details like you could find in the project files which you can download the link to the site below Included in there is a mantra render setup as well if you want to see how I rendered the final result. As always, would love to hear from you in the comments if there are any effects you'd like to see tutorials for in the future. Hope you enjoyed this quick one and until next time.